Hello there, my name is Mrs. Jenkins. I wanted to talk with you today about rational functions and their graphs. Let's start by defining what a rational function is. A rational function is a function of the form where f of x is equal to p of x over q of x. Both your numerator and your denominator here are going to be polynomials. And that denominator, whatever that polynomial may be, cannot be equal to 0. If that denominator were to equal 0, that would result in an undefined fraction. So the denominator cannot equal 0. And we'll see how that comes into play when we look at the next aspect. And that's, well, what about if we're going to graph a rational function? We're going to look more specifically of graphs of this particular type, where y equals, and our numerator and denominator are both linear, but they are both polynomials. Now, when you have one of this type, it's going to graph into a hyperbola. And two things that you'll want to look for that will really help you in seeing and defining where your graph is located will be the vertical asymptote and the horizontal asymptote. Now, the vertical asymptote is going to occur at the x value that makes your denominator equal 0. Remember, we mentioned your denominator can't be 0. So we're going to place an asymptote there so that that line will not be crossed. The denominator will not equal 0. We'll also have a horizontal asymptote. And that will occur at the line where y equals a over c. A, the coefficient of x in the numerator. C, the coefficient of x in the denominator. If we take a look at our example here, we're going to graph this function, this rational function. When you take a look at that, let's start by finding where our asymptotes will be. Remember the vertical asymptote. What will make that denominator equal to 0? Well, our denominator is 2x minus 4. So if we were to solve and see what that is, well, x equals 2. That then is going to be our vertical asymptote. Our horizontal asymptote will occur where y is equal to a over c. The coefficient of our numerator, in fr the coefficient of x in our numerator is 1. So y equals 1 over, what's the coefficient of x in the denominator? 2. So y equals 1 half will be our horizontal asymptote. Now take a look at these two. I want you to go ahead and draw out a coordinate system. Draw lines at these two. Those will be our vertical and horizontal asymptote. Then go ahead and pick a couple of points and plot them. When you've done all of that, just click Continue at the bottom of the screen, and we'll finish up the graph together. As we look at the last part of our graph here, your graph should look something like this. You can see we've got our two asymptotes here, the red lines that are drawn in. I picked four different values for x, 1, 0, 4, and 3, and then plotted them and was able to see where my hyperbola branches would be located. Now, you did a good work on that graph, and if you need any more help with graphing rational functions or with any of your algebra homework, you should sign up for Nutshell Math. I'll see you there.